Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about bus transfer using multiplexers in computer architecture course, computer organization course and computer organization and architecture course. It is one of the important concept in this courses. Generally, a digital computer has many registers. Suppose we want to transfer the information from one register to another register. A separate line is used between the bits of the two registers. For example, I am taking register A and register B. Register A contains 4 bits A0, A1, A2 and A3. Register B contains 4 bits B0, B1, B2 and B3. We want to transfer the information from register A to register B. A0 is connected to B0 by using separate line. A1 is connected to B1 by using separate line. A2 is connected to B2 by using separate line. A3 is connected to B3 by using separate line. So whenever A0 is connected to B0, we are transferring the content of A0 bit to B0. A1 bit to B1. A2 bit to B2. A3 bit to B3. A separate line is used to transfer the information from register A to register B. That means four separate lines are used to transfer the information from register A to register B. Another case. Suppose we want to transfer the information from register A to register B and register C. How many number of separate lines are required? A0 is connected to both B0 and C0. Two separate lines are required. A1 is connected to B1 and C1. Another two separate lines are required. A2 is connected to B2 and C2. Another two separate lines are required. A3 is connected to B3 and C3. Another two separate lines are required. So, eight separate lines are required to transfer the information from register A to register B and register C. So, by concluding these two cases, we can say that the number of bytes will be excessive if separate lines are used to transfer information from each register to all other registers in the system. That means if the number of registers are more, the number of bytes will also be excessive to transfer information from each register to all other registers in the system. How can you avoid the number of connections? A more efficient scheme to transfer information from each register to all other registers in a multiple register configuration is a common bus system. By using that common bus system, we reduce the number of connections to transfer information from each register to all other registers in a, com in a system. A bus system consists of a set of common lines, one for each bit of a register, through which we are transferring the binary information one bit at a time. Okay. And also we have to use control signals. By using that control signals, we have to select only one register to transfer the binary information during each particular register transfer. Okay. This diagram shows the bus transfer using multiplexer with four registers. Okay. 
a common bus system is constructed with four registers that are register A, register B, register C and register D. Each register has four bits numbered from 0 to 3, 0 to 3, 0 to 3, 0 to 3. Next, this common bus system is also constructed with four multiplexers that is multiplexer 0, multiplexer 1 and multiplexer 2 and multiplexer 3. Each multiplexer size is 4 by 1 that means it can take 4 data inputs and produce only 1 output. 4 data inputs and 1 output hence the size of multiplexer is 4 by 1 multiplexers. So here 4 4 by 1 multiplexers are there. Each multiplexer can take 4 data inputs and produce only one output. Okay. And two selection inputs are there. S1 and S0. Without complicating this diagram with the 16 lines crossing each other, simply we have to use labels to show the connections between the output of each register to the inputs of multiplexers. How 16 connections are there in this diagram? Suppose register A contains A0, A1, A2, A3 that are connected to the zero data inputs of four multiplexer. Here A0 is connected to the zero data input of multiplexer zero a1 is connected to the zero data input of multiplexer 1. A2 is connected to the zero data input of multiplexer 2. A3 is connected to the zero data input of multiplexer 3. So, four data connections are there. Next one A1, B0, B1, B2, B3 are connected to the one data input of four multiplexer. So B0 is connected to one data input of multiplexer 0. B1 is connected to one data input of multiplexer 1. B2 is connected to the one data input of multiplexer 2. B3 is connected to the one data input of multiplexer 3. So, four data connections. Next one, C0, C1, C2, C3 are the bits of register C. So, C0 is connected to the second data input of multiplexer 0. C1 is connected to the second data input of multiplexer 1. C2 is connected to the second data input of multiplexer 2. C3 is connected to the second data input of multiplexer 3. So, four data connections are there. Next, register D contains D0, D1, D2, D3. So, D0 is connected to the third data input of multiplexer 0. D1 is connected to the third data input of multiplexer 1. D2 is connected to the third data input of multiplexer 2. D3 is connected to the third data input of multiplexer 3. So, four data connections are there. For register A, four data connections. Register B, four connections. Register C, four connections. Register D, four connections. Total, 16 connections are there. When we are drawing 16 connections in this diagram, the diagram should be complicated to understand. Because of that reason, without complicating this diagram with the 16 lines crossing each other, simply we have to use labels to show the connections between the output of each register to input of multiplexers. Okay. Here, multiplexer 0 only multiplexers 0 data inputs of 
four registers only zero data inputs of four register zero data inputs are a not b not c not d not multiplexer zero multiplexes only zero data inputs of four registers multiplexer one multiplexes only one bits of four registers one bit means a1 b1 c1 d1 that multiplexes only by using multiplexer one multiplexer two multiplexes only four two data inputs of each register so that is a2 b2 c2 d2 it multiplexes only two data inputs of four registers multiplexer 3 multiplexes only four three data inputs of each register that is a3 b3 c3 and d3 that are multiplexes by only multiplexer 3 so multiplexer 0 multiplexes only 0 data inputs of 4 registers multiplexer 1 multiplexes only 1 data inputs of 4 registers multiplexer 2 multiplexes only 2 data inputs of 4 registers multiplexer 3 multiplexes only third data input of four registers okay by using that uh, selection lines s1 s0 is equal to 0 0 we have to select zero data input of zero data input of four multiplexers s1 s0 is equal to 0 1 we have to select one data input of four multiplexers s1 s0 is equal to 1 0 we have to select second data input of each and every multiplexer s1 s0 is equal to 1 1 we have to select third data input of each and every multiplexer so S1, S0 is equal to 0, 0. The decimal equivalent value is 0. We have to select 0 data input of each and every multiplexer. That is A0, A1, A2, A3 bits are selected that are sended as output that are connected to the 4 line common bus. So here a not bit is selected when S1 S0 is equal to 0 0 that is connected to the output line. So this is A0. Here A1 bit is selected that is connected to the output. Here A2 is selected that is connected to the output line. Here a3 is selected that is connected to the output line. So A0, A1, A2, A3 are connected to the four line common bus when S1, S0 is equal to 0, 0. Next one, S1, S0 is equal to 0, 1. What is the decimal equivalent value? 1. We have to select one data input of each and every multiplexer. Here we have to select one data input that is B0 is connected to the output line. Here we are getting B0 output. Here we have to select one data input. So that is connected, that is B1. B1 is connected to the output line. Next, here we have to select one data input that is B2. B2 is connected to the output line. Here we have to select the one data input that is the, uh, B3 that is connected to the output line. So now B0, B1, B2, 
B3 are connected to the four line common bus. Next one. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 0. What is the decimal equivalent value? That is 2. In each and every multiplexer, we have to select the second data input. Here in multiplexer 0, we have to select the second data input. That is the C0. C0 is connected to the output line. Here we have to select the second data input. That is a C1. C1 is connected to the output line. Next, here we have to select the second data input. That is a C2. That is connected to the output line. Here we have to select the second data input. That is a C3. C3 is connected to the output line. So C0, C1, C2, C3 are connected to the four line common bus okay next one so s1 s0 is equal to 1 1 what is the equivalent decimal value that is 3 in each and every multiplexer we have to select third data input in multiplexer 0 third data input is selected that is a d0 d0 is connected to the output line Next, in multiplexer 1, we have to select the third data input line, that is a D1. D1 is connected to the output line. In multiplexer 2, we have to select the third data input, that is a D2. D2 is connected to the output line. In multiplexer 3, we are selecting the D3. So, D3 is connected to the output line. So, D0 is connected to 4-line common bus, D1 is connected to 4-line common bus, D2 is connected to 4-line common bus, D3 is connected to 4-line common bus. Okay, that means by using that as selection lines, we have to select only one data input line of each and every multiplexer. Okay, so hence we can say that by using that two selection lines, we have to select only one register. Okay, S1, S0 is equal to 0, 0. We have to select register A. S1, S0 is equal to 0, 1. We have to select register B. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 0. We have to select register D. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 1. We have to select a register D. Whenever S1, S0 is equal to 0, 0, register A is selected. The content of register A, A0, A1, A2, A3 bits are connected to the four line common bus. S1, S0 is equal to 0, 1, register B is selected. The content of register B, B0, B1, B2, B3 bits are connected to the four line common bus. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 0. We have to select a register C. The content of C0, C1, C2, C3 bits are connected to four line common bus. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 1. We have to select register D. The content of D0, D1, D2, D3 are transferred to four line common bus. So S1 and S0 are two selection lines that are connected to the selection inputs of four 4 by 1 multiplexers. S1, S0 is equal to 0, 0. We have to select 0 data input of each and every multiplexer. So that is A0, A1, A2, A3. Because of that reason, register A is selected. The content of register A is transferred to four line common bus. S1, S0 is equal to 0, 1. We have to select one data input of four multiplexers. That is B0, B1, B2, B3. So that is register B is selected. The content of register B is transferred to four line common bus. 
S1, S0 is equal to 1, 0, we have to select the second data input of each and every multiplexer, that is C0, C1, C2, C3. So therefore, register C is selected. The content of register C is transferred to four-line common bus. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 1, we have to select third data input of each and every multiplexer that is D0, D1, D2, D3. Therefore, register D is selected. The content of register D is transferred to four line common bus. So, this is the working of bus transfer using multiplexer. Suppose we are taking a common bus system, that common bus system consists of K registers. Each register contains n number of bits. So therefore, we can require n line common bus. n line common bus. Number of multiplexers are required. Number of multiplexers required. How many number of multiplexers are required? So n multiplexers are required. What is the size of each and every multiplexer? That is, k by 1 is the size of multiplexers. Okay? So, a common bus system consists of k registers. Each register contains n number of bits. Therefore, we require n line common bus system. Number of multiplexers required is n number of multiplexers are required to construct the bus system. The size of each and every multiplexer is k by 1. Okay, so we are taking one example. A common bus system consists of 8 registers. Each, reg each register contains so 16 bit. So, therefore, we require 16 line common bus system. We require 16 multiplexers. Each multiplexer can take 8 data inputs. Each multiplexer can require 8 data inputs and 1 output. Therefore, we require the size of each multiplexer is 8 by 1. Okay. Suppose a common bus system consists of 8 registers. Each register contains 16 bit. Therefore, we require 16 line common bus system. We require 16 multiplexers to construct this uh, common bus system. Each multiplexer can take 8 data input lines and 1 output. Therefore, the size of each multiplexer is 8 by 1 multiplexer. Okay. Next, another one is, suppose we are transferring the information from register C to register R1. Okay. Here, the source register is register C and the destination register is R1. This is the simple register transfer statement. How this transfer can be done by using this uh, uh, bus construction with multiplexer? Okay, first the content of register C is transferred to the bus system. Next one, the content of the bus system can be loaded into the R1 register by enabling the load input of register R1. Okay, this is the direct transfer statement. The content of register C is transferred to register R1. This direct transfer statement can be done by using common bus system with these two statements. First, the content of register C is transferred to the bus system. Next, the content of the bus system is loaded into the R1 register by enabling the load input. Okay. Here, 
by using that two selection input lines we have to select a register s1 s0 is equal to 0 0 register a is selected s1 s0 is equal to 0 1 register b is selected s1 s0 is equal to 1 0 register c is selected s1 s0 is equal to 1 1 register d is selected that can be shown in function table so here the first column represents the selection inputs s1 and s0 the second column represents the which register we have to select with the two inputs there are four possible combinations that are 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 S1, S0 is equal to 0, 0. Register A is selected. The content of register A is transferred to the four-line common bus system. S1, S0 is equal to 0, 1. Register B is selected. The content of register B is transferred to the four-line common bus system. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 0. Register C is selected. The content of register C is transferred to the four-line common bus system. S1, S0 is equal to 1, 1. Register D is selected. The content of register C is trans D is transferred to the four-line common bus system. This is the function table of figure A. By using that function table, figure A is working. Okay, this is the bus transfer using multiplexers. In the next video, we have to discuss about bus transfer using three-state buffer gate. Okay, I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you really like this video, please Subscribe my YouTube channel, Develop Srinivas Rao. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. For better understanding of computer architecture and computer organization course, go to this channel and go to the playlist called Computer Organization and Architecture. Watch this video and understanding the entire course. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.